Hey guys, this is Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be giving you a review on Thor, the Goddess of Thunder, issue number two. Um, so yeah, guys, excited to read this, and let's see how this issue was. We open on the first page, and we see the new Goddess of Thunder. She, um, you know, she really has really cool interactions in her head, like... Uh, I love her voice, and you can see it from here. She speaks different, but her thoughts are like, uh, I don't know how to put it. Her, she thinks like a human. She speaks like an Asgardian. Like, she has that, um, uh, you know, she has that tone, and she has that diction. So, yeah, um, so she just discovered her powers, and we see that she's really close to Thor because, I mean, not close, but she's, an acquaintance to Thor. We'll see who she is. You know, we don't get her identity discovered in this issue, but I don't mind because um, we see her, you know, starting out as a hero, and I think it's pretty priceless because she has really cool interactions with herself. Uh, we see her like being guided through space with her hammer, which is really cool, and um, then you know she goes to the layers of the frost giant, and. The frost giants, you know, they mock her because she's a woman. And they're like, oh yeah, Thor, what happened to him? That he, you know, that he got turned by to a female, by a Loki. This is this a joke? You don't hit hard and stuff like that. But she just, you know, she shows them. She smashes through them and she just like kills a bunch of frost giants in like seconds. And which I thought was pretty cool. And then we see um the... Um, leader of Roxin. I didn't understand that part because I'm not familiar with the last Thor series and I think it plays from that but yeah he's uh the leader of Roxin. it looks like and um he he has a skull that the frost giants are after so that's why they attack this whole little Roxin island and they're after that skull but he is too greedy to give it to them because he thinks that's that skull that he has in possession it's worth uh, a fortune maybe so yeah um so, the new Thor goes and she basically saves him. Uh, and that leader also is a Minotaur, which is interesting. Uh, I thought it's an interesting concept. And I'm going to show you that page. So, she helps them and it turns out that she also knows who he is. So, uh, who is she? We're, we're gonna, I, I really, I'm really eager to find out who she is. I have no clue who she is yet. But yeah, uh, Dario the Agar is the leader of Rocks and he's the Minotaur. So, um, this is where they talk to each other and they're like, oh yeah. So, um, they talk and uh, he escapes into his adamantium cell. Like, he's, I'm gonna call him a bomb, kind of like a bomb shelter, and honestly, or, you know, emergency shelter. And his walls are made of adamantium. So, uh, Thor accidentally throws her hammer, you know, through his side of the door and he closes the door so her hammer is stuck in the other side and you know she can't really pull it because the walls are adamantium so uh last in the last page uh she meets Melikith, the accuser who's also after a whole school and um she has no way to protect herself she's basically powerless because she doesn't have her hammer and she says what am i without it and i thought that was a great last page so uh, Thor number two. Honestly, I thought it was really, really good issue. Um, I had no issues with this issue, to be honest. I thought it was really good, um, really well scripted. And this is the first week I've ever had a bunch of really perfect scores. Uh, this one is one of them because I thought this book was really fun. Love how she, you know, thinks in her head and how she speaks differently and how she just is so different than Thor, which makes her very unique. And that's what I like about this. I like the art from Russell Dodderman, the dialogue from um, Jason Aaron, and I'm excited to see, uh, you know, this Thor meets the man Thor, the past Thor, the ex Thor. So, uh, excited to see that whole meetup. I bet it's gonna be crazy. And she's definitely got something, and I'm excited to see you know, her deal with this melody. You know, I'm excited. This series is so fresh. And I definitely recommend you guys to pick it up. It's a great, awesome series. So I gave this issue of Thor a 10 out of 10. I mean, a 10 out of 10, which, but, I'm, but I'm grading out of 5 now. So it's a 5 out of 5. And I thought this issue was actually really good. So definitely great. 
and excited to see this. So, I'm uh, excited to see where it's gonna go after this. So, definitely pick it up. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.